guys, thanks for joining me. This is an evening release class. You can do it whenever you want, but this is um, mostly gonna take place on your back, which is awesome. <laughs> when you're winding down, maybe you've just been commuting home from work, or you're getting ready for bed, maybe you just don't feel well. This is a great way to do some yoga, get some deep stretching, Really tune in, turn in, connect with your breath, your body, and um, prepare yourself to slow down. So if you have props available, I'm gonna cue a couple things with a strap and a block. You don't have to have a strap and a block, but um, these will be really nice to assist you in gentle opening. So we're gonna start in Supta Baddha Kanak. Konasana, which is reclined butterfly pose. So lay down on your back, connect the soles of your feet, let your knees fall open. And kind of in an effort, if you've had like a long, crazy, frantic day, just to really kind of bring things in and bring the energy down a little bit, um, connect your hands to your body. So I like to bring one hand to low belly, one hand to chest. You might want both hands on your chest, both hands on your low belly, or you can have your palms face up, whatever feels good. So this is just a great opportunity to begin to notice your breath as it flows in and out through your nose. So bringing it deep into the belly, let your belly rise underneath your hand as you inhale. Feel the air travel up, feel your chest lift, and then release through your nose from your chest all the way down to your belly. In silence, listening to the sound of your breath, let's take five more breaths here. Continue to breathe in and out through your nose, through the entirety of this practice, if possible. With the assistance of your hands, bring your knees up. Now bring your feet to about mat distance apart. You can have your toes at the slightest bit of an angle. Bring your arms to goalpost position and keep your gaze straight up to the ceiling. Feel free to let your hands be loose and feel free to close your eyes. The low back release, start to just rock your legs side to side. And again, if you feel comfortable, close your eyes and just notice your hips, your pelvis, your low back. Release any tension. Again, especially if you've been sitting for a long period of time, this is so good for your hip flexors. Come to the right and release, pause. Now you can take your gaze to the left. So you get a little stretch in your neck. Exhale through your nose. To center and to the left. Gaze to the right. Close your eyes, breathe in. Breathe out through your nose. Back to center. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> Take a loose grip of your knees. So this is not a tight hugging into your chest. It's a loose grip of your knees. And start to, with the assistance of your hands, start to circle your knees to the right for five. This is good for your low back and your hips again. 
And these are really relaxed movements. Now switch sides, so you're not pushing and pulling. Um, you're just keeping your feet loose. Usually in a lot of you know, my yoga classes, I cue the uh, hands and feet, but I want your hands and feet to be relaxed in this class. Okay, place your feet back down on the floor at hip distance apart. Place your hands alongside your body. We're gonna do three rolling bridges, so this is good for your spine. So as you press into your feet, start to roll like one vertebra at a time up off the mat. And again, you don't have to go like super high or hard. Just really notice, the purpose is noticing your spine and its movement as it lifts on and off your mat. So again, up, nice gentle and down <clears throat> last time press up one vertebra at a time take your time and down all right so this would be a place if you have a strap and want to use it that you just take your strap and place it around the bottom of your foot. Okay, if you don't have a strap, no worries, you can hold on to the back of your leg, okay? You have the option, so extend your right leg up to the ceiling. You have the option of keeping your left leg bent if you're feeling a little bit tight, or you can bring your left leg straight, okay? Now, you can start to walk your hands up your strap or the back of your leg getting a hamstring stretch here. <clears throat> Continue to breathe in and out through your nose. Close your eyes and just tune into the sensation in the back of your right leg, your hamstring, your calf. Now take hold of your right your strap or your right leg with your right hand. Bring your left arm to the left and start to open your right leg to the right. Keep your left hip glued, your left shoulder glued to your mat. Now if this is too much for you today, right now, just bend your leg, okay? It doesn't have to be straight. I just want you to feel an opening in your right inner thigh Come back to center. If you have a strap, and just let go of your strap. If your leg is straight, your left leg is straight, bend it again, and then cross your right ankle over your left knee. So we're gonna take a reclined pigeon pose, another good hip stretch. So you can thread your hands through around your thigh or your shin. Give your left knee a little squeeze in so that you feel the Stretch in your right glute, right hip, hip flexor, and release. Let's switch sides. So strap or not, I'll show you this side without a strap. So if you don't have a strap, you just take your hands around the back of your left leg and walk them up. And again, your right leg is either bent, foot flat to the floor, or straight. Close your eyes, breathe deeply in and out through your nose. Notice the sensation in the back of your left leg, all the way from your Achilles tendon, your calf, your hamstring. With your leg bent or straight, if you don't have a strap and you can reach your big toe, you can hold on to it or you can bend your leg and just guide your left leg, your knee down to the mat. A couple of choices there. Right arm can come off to the right. Try to keep your left hip and your left shoulder flat to the floor. The sensation that we're looking for in this stretch is the 
left inner thigh. So whatever you need to do so that you feel it, you're stretching it, but it's not too strained. Come back to center. <clears throat> And if your right leg is not already, bend it and cross your left ankle over your right knee for reclined pigeon. Thread your hands through so that you can take hold of your right thigh or your right shin. Okay, if you have a block, go ahead and take, take your block. We're gonna do a supported fish posture, which is an awesome chest opener. If you don't have a block, that's fine. You can just do fish, okay? So for fish posture, extend your legs long, prop yourself up on your forearms, lift through your chest, start to release your head back, okay? opening your throat, your chest. If you'd like, you can take your block at whatever height. I like mine to be a little higher because I can have a really tight chest. So this just really assists in this opening. Oh man, that feels so good. I'm actually gonna reposition this a little bit. So take a moment, position so that you're comfortable and that you're getting the opening that you want. Okay, so again, if you have been sitting at a desk, typing, driving, um, we have a tendency to roll the shoulders forward. So, man, if you could practice this posture every single day, you're gonna be so much better off. You're opening your heart chakra, your throat chakra, counteracting the stress in the shoulders. one more breath in fish or supported fish posture. Slowly lower down or if you're on a block, roll off to the side and just remove your block out from underneath. Okay, the next two postures we're gonna do are also supported if you have a block available. If not, you can just do the posture without the block. But since this is a really nice, relaxing practice, using a prop is um, a great way to just relax in the, into the pose. So this is supported bridge pose. This is personally one of my very favorites. So this is to open up the front of the body and the hips. Take your block to whatever height you'd like. Okay, place it underneath your sacrum, okay, not your low back. You want it on the bony part of your sacrum, okay? And just open your hands so they face the ceiling and keep your chin off of your chest so your neck is long. Now, of course, without a block, you can hold bridge and release your hands underneath you. A little more strength building without a block, but hey, it's an awesome posture either way. A couple more breaths here.
Okay, so from this position, I'm gonna give you two options. So you can take legs up the wall pose on a block. This actually takes a little more kind of core strength, but it's an inversion. Other option, you can use the best prop of all, an actual wall. This is one of the most restorative postures you can do. I'm not gonna move my mat or anything right now, but you can move your mat over to a wall. Just scoot your hips up to the wall and place your feet on your wall. Mine is a door, okay? So this is called legs up the wall pose. You can do it with or without a wall, with or without a block. Now, a couple options here. You can hold your legs straight up. You can, again, if you're against a wall, put a block underneath. If you want an inner thigh stretch, I personally love this option. You can take your legs into straddle. Okay, oh, see, to me that feels good, but if your inner thighs are tight and that doesn't feel good, put your legs back up. Your other option is butterfly. Okay, so we already did reclined butterfly, so you're a little more open than you were before. Pick your favorite or mix it up. If you, if it's accessible to you, you can place your hands back on your body, one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart, or whatever feels good, like hands to your rib cage, hands to your heart. Close your eyes, continue to breathe here. This is a great posture to prepare you for bed. So if you are ever having problems sleeping, you can put your legs at the wall. you're loving where you're at right now, stay there for Shavasana. If you prefer traditional Shavasana and that feels more restorative and relaxing to you, then just make your way to Shavasana. So for Shavasana, legs are long, feet fall open, <clears throat> arms rest alongside your body. Uh, take up space if you have it. A great thing about a home practice, you can just spread out, do what you want, do what feels good. Breathe in through your nose, hold it. Let it go through your mouth. Come back to the natural rhythm of your breath. Enjoy the Shavasana, maybe it leads you right to a restful night's sleep. Maybe it just brings you back into a calm state of being for the rest of your evening, maybe the rest of your day. yourself for committing some time <clears throat> to your practice today. This evening as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, and peace in your heart from my heart to yours.